Ibo, not because he's an Ibo man. Kano, Kano, Nandi Kano represents Lazarus. And the federal government of the day represents the rich man. We have seen that they are maliciously, wickedly maltreating the young man. But I want to say that even those in government will die. Those in judiciary will die. And none you can one day will die. But what you sow is what you reap. The video you just watched is a bishop. I believe it was the bishop kidnapped by some Janjawi philanthropist. Who paid 100 million for his bear, for his release. He is tackling Nigerian government, telling them that Nam the Khan must be released because he has not committed any crime. Rather, those who are kidnapping people, taking them to the bush that call themselves flanitaries, recruited by the government and some military operatives, just like Danjuma said are the one that's supposed to be in prison, not Nam the Khan. While he was saying that, so many of them were confused. So many of them were just pretending not to be hearing what he was saying. Because many of them was in that barrier that he started preaching about Master Nam the Khan and his predicament. And also predicament of Bia France who has suffered in the hands of felony terrorist kidnappers. The funniest part, any time that our people want to go after these people, in the forest, especially when they kidnap people and let them free them, if our people want to go after them, you will see police threatening them or soldiers threatening them. They should not go into that forest. They should not dare them. This alone shows that if these police and soldiers have been the one collaborating with the felony terrorists to kidnap our people, to maim our people, to rape our people, just like Danjuma said that they are culpable. When a military officer who has been a military man for some time, or should I say for years, came out openly and voiced out that those collaborating with the terrorists are the military, they are the one giving them passage to come into someone's state to cause havoc. And this is why they have taken over Igbo land for some time now because there is a plan according to Flanny Captured. There is a plan to take over Igbo land because they have taken over all Nigeria except from Igbo land. Now, while we are at street, Pretending that we don't know what is happening. Flanny Hensemen are busy planning how to run us down. And the government have been the one supporting them because the government are complicit. They are collaborating with them. Why Buhari was here, he claimed that this Flanny are coming from Niger, coming from Libya, coming from Sahara, wherever it is, he said. But today, the Senate are deliberating issue about Flanny Hensemen and their so-called movement. Some of them still want them to move around shiplessly, killing innocent people in their own land, in their own hometown, while some of them want a ranching. Whether ranching, whether ruga, or them moving around, they are also the same thing, because a killer is a killer. What we are proposing is that they should stay in their own land and they buy land and ranch the cow. If they believe that they have so much market in Ibo land, they should bring their goods to Ibo land for sale, not to come into our forests or our bushes. What they are doing, nobody knows. Nigerian government has caused so much problem. Fulani is used to be people who are accommodating. They meet in their, their farm, even they spoil their, their thing. 
they will pay for it. They will see apologize. But all of a sudden, Nigerian government started using Fulani, Fulani as terrorists to cause mayhem. And this is what they have continued to do to date. And we have to say it the way it is. Because if you don't say it, it will lose a how. According to the bishop, you are holding them the canon in custody for no reason. He did not commit any crime. Whatever man so he will live. You think he will not die someday, you will die. Just like every other person. But when you die, where do you believe you are heading to? Someone like me don't see that as anything because these men who are doing evil in different places, in government house, in Senate, in our National Assembly, they know what they are doing. They know that there is nothing like heaven for them upon that they could not do it. Because why? Because they have come to agree that making money is better than seeing heaven. And for them, they can do anything. Fulani has caused so much problem in Nigeria. Fulani terrorists has caused so much problem in Nigeria. I mean, and that we must stop them because we will not allow them to come inch to any evil land. Unless, of course, of Enugu state that you have a governor there who is an itibarebo, who knows nothing but to chase his people around, but to their houses and everything they own. But when they come to undertake terrorism, he knows nothing. And this is why we are saying that we will not allow flying terrorists into our land. If it's the ones who are doing car business, others may come because they are doing genuine business. But those who use this car to cover face at night and keep people, enough is enough. Our people should not allow anybody to intimidate them anymore. Because we are not terrorists. Rather, those who are terrorists, they are moving around freely. That is the truth. When will you continue to suffer? When? As Flanny and men continue to cause problems. We will continue to do our best to make sure that we send a narrative there what Flanny and are doing in Nigeria. Only God will save us from this problem. Thank you so much. And I think I've come to the end of this news. Cheers.